Hello, Pisces viewers. Sorry I've been away, but I am back now. Just been busy working at my other job recently. But as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. You can just copy and paste it. So let's see what's going on with you guys. We've got sadness. Soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. Taking it slowly, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Domination and control. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. X, the past. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict, reconciliation. I'm picking up two different energies here. Like I'm picking up someone that was toxic and someone that's really positive. So I feel like, I feel like this is a third party situation. I don't know who this is for. Like, I feel like someone blocked you from your true love or vice versa. Like someone blocked them from coming to you. And it feels like that energy is being cleared up. Let's see what else is going on. Waiting, hoping, praying. Finances and career. I also see this, I always see this card as glamour too, just, you know, look, looking at her appearance. Yeah, sex seduction is the next card I got. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Make your move, green light. Divine intervention, synchronicity, mutual feelings, emotional depth. So like I said, this could be a karmic on your end. This could be somebody that just did not want you to move on from them. Somebody that was kind of toxic and controlling. Someone that broke your heart. They didn't really want to love you properly, but they didn't want anybody else to love you either. Um, so they tried to control you for a long time, but I feel like you're breaking free from that. You're seeing past the illusion and you're freeing yourself here. For others, I feel like this is your person and your person had, had a third party situation. And this person, the, uh, the third party, the karmic is just trying their hardest to separate you two, but it's not working anymore. I feel like, I feel like this karmic gaslit your person. So again, could be you, could be them. There's a third party situation here. I'm just, you know, it, there's going to be different stories. For some, this is your third party. And for others, this is your true love's third party. They were in a third party situation. They had, you know, a, a partner on the side or a karmic on the side that they were dealing with. But it looks like the vibe I get is that this person gaslit, this karmic gaslit your person a lot. Because we have sadness, we have soul contract, soulmate. We have, you know, taking it slowly, pulling them in. I kind of get the vibe with these three cards that this person, this karmic, kept um, kept your person in the dark. And they kept them thinking, oh, if only they did this differently. If only they spoke to, to them differently. If only they worked harder. If only they were more committed. If only this, if only that. Then you know, everything would be fine. They were gaslighting them. They were making them think it was their fault and they were leaving them in the dark and keeping them sad. And so your person was over here trying to be patient, trying to take it slow, trying to be understanding. And I think at a certain point, they just finally realized, you know, no matter what they do, it's always going to be the same shit. It's always going to be the same heartbreak. They finally realized it wasn't, they finally realized that they were being gaslit, that it wasn't anything they were doing wrong. It was the karmic that was toxic. You know, and this karmic tried to control them for a long time, but the divine stepped in here. And there was a, an end of this pattern or the cycle. And there was a breakthrough, freedom. You know, they saw the truth. 
And I feel like now this person is wanting to come back to you. I, and again, it's up to you if you want to allow this or not, because like, I don't, because I, I understand with third party situations, it's complicated. Sometimes if someone, you know, if they did have someone on the side and you don't want that back, that's totally fine. That's totally understandable. It's your decision. You know, I totally understand not wanting that back. It does feel like this person shows the karmic over you out of, um, I feel like, I feel like it was out of guilt because it just feels like there's so much gaslighting. Like the karmic is really mentally unstable and I feel like there might have been suicide threats is what I'm getting. I feel like the karmic might have threatened to hurt themselves if your person left or they threatened to, um, like if they have kids, they threatened to take the kids away or they just... Like, I just get, like, this feeling of, like, guilt and pity. Like, your person didn't really love the karmic, but your person felt bad for them. Like, they just kind of saw how sad and pathetic they were, and they felt like like they would just completely go off the deep end if they left them, and they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to be responsible for that. And the karmic kept gaslighting them into thinking if they if they change themselves, if they, you know, like I said, if they work harder, if they if they communicate differently, if they do this or that, that, you know, everything would be great. Everything would change. And so the karmic kept lashing out. The karmic kept exploding. And your person kept thinking, you know, it's like your person's very naive almost. It's like your person kept thinking like, oh, if I just, you know, if I, I like the, the, your person kept thinking that they were the, the toxic one. And they kept thinking, you know, that they were pushing the karmic to, um, to that point of just exploding, you know, like, like they felt like they were responsible for the karmic's mental illness almost. And they felt like, like they just had to do, th like they just kept feeling like they just had to do things differently. And it just, it was just this endless cycle that they kept going in and your person kept taking all the weight and all the responsibility onto themselves. And at a certain point, the divine intervened and they recognized what was going on and they recognized that no matter what they do, because I feel like their the person did change. I feel like your person did communicate the way the karmic wanted them to. They did change the things the karmic asked them to change and the karmic continued to explode. And, and then the karmic would come up with something new. The karmic would be like, okay, well, yeah, you're communicating better now, but you know, you, you're not making as much money. I need you to make more money for the family or I need you to do that. There's just always something. The karmic would always come up with something because they didn't want to accept responsibility for themselves. And I think your person finally got smarter. I don't think they did it on their own, to be honest. I think the divine had to step in and kind of show them what was going on. I think there was some major tower moments here. And I feel like this cycle has ended. The karmic is still lurking though. This person wants to reconcile with you. I think that they realized that they should have followed their heart. They shouldn't have gone with somebody just, you know, out of guilt, out of obligation, out of fear. You know, it's like they, they stayed together for all the wrong reasons. There might have been money involved here, too. You have finances and career. There might have been money involved um, as well here. Like shared finances or maybe like they didn't want to, maybe they were afraid of losing their job if they left the karmic or something. But it looks like they're wanting to reconcile with you now. But the karmic is still lurking. From these two cards, we have X in the past and we have betrayal, jealousy, conflict. We, you see this woman with a knife in her hand, male or female. That this this person has a knife in their hand. And it's like your person, your true love is, is focused on you. They're focused on reconciling with you. But this person's kind of still lurking in the shadows over here. You see this person with the, with the bats around them. They've got this knife. They're wearing a hooded cloak. It's like this person's still kind of lurking and spying. And trying to think about how they can separate this. It's just a very toxic energy I get from this karmic. There's still, and it's almost like it's just pride. Like, I don't think they even love your person. I don't, I don't think they're even in love with your person. I feel like, I feel like they just hate you and they don't want to lose to you is their main thing. I think like they just, they don't want, they don't want to lose. They don't, I think they're also afraid of people seeing through them because they don't know what this person's going to say now that they've freed themselves from this energy. Because I feel like in the past, the karmic had this person really insecure. This, this, they had this person in their head. And so, you know, all their mutual friends, family members were all convinced that it was just this person that was toxic, you know, that, that he or she just wasn't, you know, 
wasn't communicating right, wasn't doing this, wasn't doing that. Like the karmic played the victim. But now that this person's woken up and they see through the karmic, I feel like the karmic can't fall back on that anymore. And the karmic knows that the truth is being revealed and they're scared. They're scared of losing, you know, mutual friends. They're scared of losing, could could be some some um, financial worries as well. But I don't get that that love is the motivation here. I feel like it's more just control and just not wanting um, the public to see through them. I feel like this person's trying to seduce them, but it's not working. Like, I kind of feel like your person's been, it's like they've been waiting for you, hoping for you. And praying for you, you know, wanting that connection back. I feel like this karmic might even try to use finances against them. Like, oh, you can't, like, you know, you can't leave me. Like, we have shared finances. You're, like, trying to scare them. It's really kind of, it's pathetic. It's pathetic because they'll pull out anything they can. It's like this person will pull out whatever they can. Like, oh, you don't want to leave me because if you do that, you know, your, your finances are going to go to shit. Like... Just, just stupid things like that. And they're trying to be seductive here. Sex seduction. But I feel like your person's moving forward. I feel like they're being assertive and, and they're motivated. You know, courageous here. And we have make your move, green light. Like, I feel like they're moving forward. Like, your person... Like, the karmic's trying to seduce them right now. They're really going out of their way to seduce them. But I feel like this person just doesn't... They don't want to hear it. They don't care. You know, they're detached from that. Yeah, they want they want new love. They want to be with the person they actually feel at home with. They know that there's some miscommunication to clear up. Clubs, parties, social life could be hmm. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, pride and stubbornness. I feel like this is just kind of the karmic still wanting to cause some drama here. Maybe wanting to spread some rumors regarding a club or a party. Even if they're not true. Wanting the masculine, to, wanting the, the well, male or female, could be either way. But wanting this, wanting the, your person to be isolated and alone and empty. But your person's, I feel like your person's fighting to move forward. They're, you know, fast moving energy. They're coming forward towards their true love. You know, they're, it, it's like come what may, let the chips fall where they may kind of energy. There might be some drama and chaos that you guys have to deal with, but it looks like they're not willing to, it's like, it's like the blindfold's been taken off, so they're not willing to fall back into this energy again. So take it as it resonates, and as always, if you want me to go more in depth into your specific situation, then I can get, you know, more details for you specifically, just email me. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Like I said, that's right below in the description box below this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message as well. Thanks for watching.